action to manifest destiny. Welcome, young scholars. How are you today? Good. Good. Okay, well, we have an exciting presentation for you called Patchwork America. But first, I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you can help me? Yeah. I think so too. Okay, let me show you what I need you to do. I'll show you first and then you can practice with me. So when I make this signal, I want to hear you guys say chugga chugga choo choo. And when I oh, and when I make this signal, I want you guys to stop. So let's okay. practice. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Excellent. I think you're ready. Okay, everybody. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because our journey west begins now. A fresh new start, a land with gold named California. And I like it here. So do I, darling. But better opportunities await us. Here, I will give you this quilt that my grandmother gave to my mother and my mother gave to me for you to carry with us on your journey. Will it keep me warm? Yes, dear, and it will keep you safe, so long as you take care of it. But we're heading out in the morning, so we mustn't fiddle down anymore. On a warmer spring day in the year 1849, Samantha and her family embarked on a journey west towards California in hopes of prospering during the gold rush. Have you seen my quilt? 
slide that way. Was it my quilt? Maybe. I'll help you find it. What is your name? My name is Ron Lee, but you can call me Ron. What's your name? My name is Samantha, but you can call me Samantha. <laughs> Chinese immigrants like Ron were hired to help build the transcontinental railroad along with other immigrants. On average, immigrant workers received just $26 to $35 a month for a 12 hour day and six day work week. They had to provide their own food and tent, and they worked very hard on the railroad using pickaxes, hammers, and crowbars. Like the Native American tribes, Chinese immigrants often faced the challenge of fitting into Western society. That looks like your quilt. It is, it is, yay! I added a patch to it so you can remember me on your journey. Samantha! Samantha! Samantha, where are you? Mother, mother, I have found my quilt. My new friend Ron helped me to find it. Ron! Thank you for all your help, Ron. You're welcome. Thank you, Ron. Bye! Bye! Bye, -bye. Dude, really? Mother, are we almost there yet? Yes, dear, we've just crossed into California. Stop! What is the matter, darling? Mother, I have lost my quilt. We have to find it. Stop the wagon, John. Okay. Samantha has lost her quilt. We must look behind. But there is no time. We are almost there. <laughs> Have you seen my quill? Possibly. Let me help you look for it. What is your name? My name is Joaquin Marietta, but you can call me Joaquin. What is your name? My name is Samantha, but you can call me Samantha. Samantha! <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs>